Can a machine, an algorithm, truly understand the beautiful game? Today, we're putting a seriously powerful AI, Spectra, to the test. We're pitting it against the raw, unpredictable chaos of the English Premier League. We're about to find out if cold, hard data can actually make sense of the passion and glory of football. Let's get right into it. You know, we all say it. The beautiful game is beautiful because anything can happen, right? A deflection, a moment of individual brilliance, a dodgy VAR call. So what happens when you take all that human drama and you try to model it with pure data? Can an AI really find a pattern in all that madness? Well, that's exactly the question we're trying to answer today. Okay, so for our first test, we've got a proper clash. Nottingham Forest taking on Leeds United. The stakes are always high with these two. It's a real rivalry and it's the perfect first challenge for our AI. So let's see what the machine was thinking before a single ball was even kicked. Right, so Spectra came out swinging with a really confident prediction. It wasn't just kind of leaning towards Forest, it gave them a whopping 44% chance of winning, which is more than double Leeds' shot. It even projected a scoreline somewhere around 2-1. And that ELO rating edge, that's basically a power ranking and a plus 33 advantage is significant. This was a clear, decisive call from the AI. No sitting on the fence here. So, the moment of truth. How did Spectra actually do? Well, the final whistle blew, and it was a 3-1 victory for Nottingham Forest. The AI absolutely positively nailed the winner. But trust me, the accuracy here goes way deeper than just picking the right team. Check this out. The model predicted a goal difference of just over one goal for Forrest. The final scorer was a two-goal victory. I mean, that is incredibly close. And this is where you see the real power of the AI's thinking, because the final 3-1 scoreline was actually one of the top five most likely outcomes it simulated. So it didn't just guess the winner, it understood the shape of the game. And here's the really mind-blowing part. This wasn't just a lucky guess on the score. The AI understood why Forrest would win. It pinpointed their midfield duo, Sangare and Anderson, as being crucial. And yep, they both scored. It flagged Gibbs White as the main creator. He scored too. It even correctly predicted that Leeds' attack would just run out of gas, which is exactly what happened. That's not just a prediction. That's genuine tactical insight. So how did it do it? Well, Spectra isn't just one single AI. You can think of it like a committee of different models all arguing with each other. And if we look inside its brain, you can see that two of its most aggressive models, the neural network and the random forest, were the ones screaming for a forest victory. These guys are really good at spotting complex patterns, and their confidence is what ultimately drove that incredibly accurate final prediction. What an incredible start for the AI, right? But was it a fluke? A one-off? Let's up the ante a bit. We're moving on to our second match, Aston Villa versus Bournemouth. Can Spectra possibly do it again? And here we go again. The AI makes another strong call for the home team. It predicted a decisive Villa win with a probability of almost 47%. And look at that predicted score, 3.25 to 1.39. The AI was expecting goals, a lot of them, and it was pretty sure Villa would be the one scoring them. And the final score? A complete and utter 4-0 demolition by Aston Villa. So Spectra is now officially two for two on picking the winner. Amazing, but this result, while correct, it shows us something really interesting about the AIs and limits when a game gets, well, a little out of hand. The model predicted a win by just under two goals. The reality was a four goal thrashing. Now this is where you can see the edge of what's predictable. The AI absolutely saw a Villa win coming, but it just didn't foresee the total collapse from Bournemouth. And honestly, this isn't a failure. It's a fascinating chance to learn. So why the big gap? Well, it boils down to three things. First, Bournemouth just fell apart in a way data can't always predict. Second, and this is brilliant, the AI was working with pre-match data that said Villa's key player, Buendia, was an injury doubt. This injury noise made the AI dial back his predicted impact. What really happened? He started, scored, and was man of the match. A perfect example of how last-minute info can mess with any model. So... After two very different matches, one it nailed, one it got the gist of, what's the final verdict on Spectra's performance? Let's break down the overall scorecard and see what we've really learned here. The numbers here, they tell a pretty compelling story. A perfect 100% record on predicting the winner. Can't argue with that. Both of the actual scores fell within its top five most probable outcomes. And yeah, the goal difference was off by about a goal and a half on average, but get this, the AI, on average, gave the correct outcome a 45% chance of happening. 
In the wild, unpredictable world of football, that is a remarkably high number. Okay, for the data heads watching, here's a key stat for you, the Breyer score. All you really need to know is that it measures how accurate these kinds of predictions are, and the lower the score, the better. Spectra's score of 0.15 is considered excellent. It means its predictions aren't just lucky guesses, they are well calibrated and statistically really solid. And you know what the best part is? The system learns from all this. From just these two matches, the model has already figured out how to get better. It can now tweak how it measures fatigue for away teams, like we saw with Leeds. It can add new ways to account for that injury noise from late fitness tests. And it can fine-tune its predictions for those crazy outlier results, like a 4-0 blowout. It just keeps getting smarter. You know, if I had to sum this whole experiment up, it would be with this idea. The AI correctly saw which way the wind was blowing in both matches, it got the fundamental dynamics, it knew the key players, and it understood the most likely flow of the game. Now, it couldn't quite predict the full force of that Aston Villa hurricane, but it knew, without a doubt, which way the storm was heading. Which, of course, leaves us with one last massive question. We've just seen an AI nail a result with tactical precision and then learn from its near misses on the next one. It really makes you wonder. With every match, every goal, and every new piece of data it absorbs, is the perfect sports prediction really just one more algorithm away? Something to think about.